the labyrinth's redemption. Amid the echoes of machinery and the palpable dread of an industrial labyrinth, six individuals found themselves ensnared in a macabre game, each waking to the cold touch of shackles that bound them to the floor. A spectral figure materialized on a flickering screen, veiled in shadows, setting the stage for a game of redemption and revelation. I want to play a game, the distorted voice declared, as the strangers exchanged bewildered glances, realizing they were trapped in an unfathomable nightmare. The rules unfolded with a sinister promise. Their escape hinged on confronting the sins buried within. Each participant harbored a secret, a shadowy past that now demanded reckoning. The first trial unfolded in a room adorned with archaic medical instruments. Rachel, a nurse haunted by accusations of neglect, faced a moral crossroads. Endure personal torment or witness harm befall another captive. The ticking clock added an ominous urgency to her dilemma. James, a once prominent politician marred by corruption, stumbled into a room where salvation required the sacrifice of his own flesh, a key forged from the very sin that had tainted his past. The metallic resonance of his agony reverberated through the labyrinth. Alliances formed and dissolved like mist as the trials progressed. Trust, a fragile thread, snapped beneath the weight of each gruesome decision. The industrial maze pulsated with despair, its walls seemingly alive with the tormented echoes of the captives. Dr. Evelyn Harper, a psychologist concealing her own culpability, emerged as an unwitting leader. Her therapeutic facade shattered as the labyrinth delved deeper into the tangled web of their shared pasts. The captives grappled not only with the physical trials, but with the emotional unraveling that accompanied each revelation. The final trial unfolded in a vast chamber, a crucible of shadows where a single key dangled above an abyss. Exhausted and scarred, the captives faced a choice, cooperate for collective survival or succumb to the consuming darkness individually. In an unforeseen twist, the spectral figure revealed themselves to be a manifestation of the group's collective sins, a soul seeking redemption rather than retribution. The captives, forced to confront the consequences of their actions, were given a chance at salvation in the labyrinth of despair. As the industrial echoes faded, those who emerged from the crucible carried scars both physical and spiritual. The labyrinth's redemption had transcended the conventional notions of punishment, leaving the survivors forever altered. In the end, the maze that seemed designed to break them had become the crucible of transformation, a twisted path towards absolution. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with chills unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.